<clears throat> so uh, without further ado, hopefully you can pull the screen up. Thank you. So just to give you an overview of, of who I am, for those who may not know, you know, my name is AJ. I use they, them pronouns. Uh, based here in, in Illinois, I am the currently the uh, co-chair for the Illinois Green Party. I'm also the former co-chair for the Green Party of the United States as well. Um, but I also am affiliated with uh, my, my, my local DSA chapter, the Quad City DSAs. Um, also involved with um, Social Party USA, and I'm also an organizer within the IWW. Um, so I have years of experience as an organizer and activist, and I'm also going to be utilizing a lot of the uh, the, the, the scholarship side as well. Um, uh, currently a doctoral student in geography, um, specifically human geography, but I also have a background in social service and you know been in the Midwest for a long, very long time and travel around the country thanks to um, my organizing experience. Um, so I could see a lot of rural areas as well as metro areas and everything. So there is quite a divide when it comes to metro and rural. And so when we, when we look at like a map, and then I'm going to be referencing Illinois a lot, so if we, we can, states like Illinois, you know, there's like Chicago, as you can see up there in the upper northeast side right there by Lake Michigan, the southern part of Lake Michigan. And then surrounding Chicago is the suburbs around there. And then outside those suburbs, you know, there's a whole other part of the state, you know, and in between those are other uh, urban areas, but a lot of in between that is rural, you know, and there's a lot of states make up like are make up like Illinois, whether it's in New York, Maryland, uh, Pennsylvania, uh, Michigan, you know, uh, Arizona, you know, it's it's a lot of them are like this. Some states are a little bit more unique than others, and I'll probably talk a lot about those also, but there's always this uh, metro rural divide. And that's very important to understand because we've probably experienced this in organizations that we're involved in, that a lot of times meetings are held in more metro areas or urban centers than rural areas. Um, and we need to ask those kind of questions as to how come we don't have like that kind of presence in rural areas. You know, because if, if, if we are really, truly wanting to create change, real social change, real economic change, real environmental change, we cannot negate uh, the reality parts of the states that we're in. And if we do that, uh, we're, we're going to be losing severely, and we have been losing, and I, and I want to emphasize that. We have been losing because we don't pay attention to rural areas. 